What's up YouTube? I hope all is well with you because things are fabulous with me. Today I want to talk about more fat girl problems. Specifically, I would like to talk about snacks. Everybody knows that a fat girl loves her snacks. I personally loved getting snacks from the snack machine until an incident that happened that made me not want a snack at a snack machine no more. To start the story, let me first just say that my favorite snack to get from the snack machine is the Hershey's Cookies and Cream Bar. Also, let me say, the heavenly angel that invented the Hershey's Cookies and Cream Bar? So clearly, that's my favorite snack to get from the snack machine. For some reason, my vending machine at work had the nerve to be out of stock from the Hershey's Cookies and Cream Bar for days. You don't know how sad I was every single time I realized that I was not going to get my Hershey's Cookies and Cream Bar that day. It was a pitiful sight. Every day, I would look at the vending machine and see that there was still no snack, and I was frustrated. Finally, one day, I walked up to that vending machine and saw the heavenly cream and brown packet that is the Hershey's Cookies and Cream Bar. I was so happy that I shouted out a celebratory, yes, 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 yes. You think that's a little too much, right? You're correct. But there's more. I broke down into a celebration dance. this to acknowledge that yes I twerked on the fender machine it's not my proudest moment but it's a moment that happened and I take full responsibility and I have decided to accept it and move on I was too busy celebrating that I did not realize there was a visitor behind me <laughs> <sighs> Why? Why does this always happen to me? Clearly, she had seen me and my celebratory snack dance. So I figured that I should pay for my snack and just leave in peace and pretend nothing ever happened. Unfortunately for me, I left the money for my snack inside my bra strap. Don't judge. It's a convenient place for people that are blessed. And of course, on this day, the money had slipped from my bra strap into my bra, and I had to go a searching. So I didn't have it. I have no idea where it went. I just know it was not in my boobs. So I had to walk away from the fender machine without my cookies and cream and tote. And I had to figure out a way to explain my bizarre behavior to the woman that was behind me. Improv was probably going to be the best way out of this situation. Luckily, I was more than qualified because I had just graduated from the Dallas Comedy House of Improv. See? It was time for me to give her my best stuff. My best stuff was me turning around and then saying, Happy Breast Cancer Awareness Month! She wasn't amused. I have not been back to that vending machine since. And it's just as good because I didn't need that snack machine anyway. Most of the food that's in the snack machine is not good for you. Science. It's not that snacks are bad. Snacks are great. You just gotta pick the right ones. It is better to go fresh. Me personally, I love myself a good apple. So, lesson learned. Before I end this video, I have two things to say. The first thing that I would like to mention is when I shot that snack machine scene, 
I was 30 pounds heavier. And I'm looking back at the video and I'm like, wow, there is a little bit of a change. It may not be the biggest change, but it's a change that I noticed and I'm really, really excited about that. Second, I was searching across fat girl problem videos hoping to find something that I related to and I came across this woman named High Five Turkey and she has some funny fat girl problem videos. She happens to have a snack problem video and I'm going to link it down below because it's hilarious. So go ahead and check it out, subscribe to her, and also encourage her to make more fat girl problem videos. With that being said, I hope you guys are doing everything you need to do in order to have a happy, successful, and healthy life. And I will talk to you later. Bye!